So as you are to consider your L filters, that is the L section filters, uh, these are actually the ones, if you check in terms of the presentation that you are seeing, they are going to form an L like this in this part here. Uh, we are forming an L, the connection that we are given is forming an L. That part is called an L section or the chalk input filter. What are the calculations that we are going to need? In this case, in our calculations, we are going to assume that the components are ideal. As you are to work with these calculations, you assume that the components, they are ideal. That is for the capacitor and for the inductor in that case. So if you had to check, one, we are used to the DC load current, considering the load current that is going to affect. But because we are considering an inductor, and also we are going to consider a circuit after, which is where we are going to have the resistor. The values that you are going to have across the resistor, over the resistor in this case, all these values that you are going to have this side, they are simply of the same calculations as we are used to in this case, only that this is over or across the resistor and you are going to indicate them with a prime, like you are given uh, this prime like that. That is for all values that you are going to consider across the resistor. So whenever you're using this prime, you are talking about the, the, the values across what? Across the resistor. That is across our RL. Those ones, you are going to use what? The prime in the calculations. But like I said, all these guys is simply one and the same thing. So you're going to talk of the VDC, remember? Your DC voltage, but this time across the resistor. It is going to be given as VDC. We saw that there's VDC before the resistor here. All right, so you have to consider that. So you're going to have VDC, which is uh, uh, approximately a, a value which is equal to 0, 0.637 of the maximum value of V max, which is taken this, remember, is taken from 2 over pi. So it's 2 over pi of the maximum value. So we can calculate, or we can have our DC voltage from there. So there we are considering our DC voltage. So across the resistor, use a bar. Normal, just our normal output, uh, our normal DC voltage, you can just use your VDC that you are used to. But considering across the resistor, you just use the prime, which is the same as the load current. We're gonna have the load current across the resistor, which is equal to the same load current that we are used to. Since we have our VDC, we can calculate that from VDC. So it can be from our VDC over the load resistance. But remember, these two, they are equal. So you can use any of the VDC that you are given over the load resistance. Those two will be equal. Also, the other calculation that is important is of the reactance, considering uh, the part of the reactance. The reactance that you are given of the capacitor XC, we are used to the normal XC that we know from 1 over 2 pi FC. This is what we are used to, but this time they are going to be different in terms of the connections that you are given thereafter to say, is it a full wave or is it a half wave? The part of XC is affected. So this is going to be when you are working with a half wave. So this is when having a half wave, and this is when working with a full wave. So you must consider that part very, very careful. You must consider that part very careful. Uh, also, you're gonna talk of the ripple voltage. Another part again, which is important uh, is on the ripple voltage. All right, guys, uh, let me just write it here. The ripple voltage. Also, you're going to need to calculate this. So that is 
our ripple voltage is going to be given. We are this time gonna use the formula, uh, the square root of two uh, times VDC, everything over three, uh, X in this case, all right? So you're gonna have XL. So this time I'm gonna use XL times XC. Remember, you are considering the part where we also have the inductor. So you're gonna use XL for an inductor. Uh, XL is not gonna be affected, guys. It's just our normal uh, two pi FL. So meaning to say, we are going to need that reactance. You might be, uh, in most cases, they are going to give you that. So if you're given, just use it as it is. Then also it can affect in terms of the current also. It can be of the current, which is going to be this time, just the square root of two, VDC over three XL. Okay, so you just need to know your formulas, guys. And also you're gonna consider the ripple factor. So from this part, we are going to need or to calculate the ripple factor. Remember the ripple factor, you can use R, you can use gamma in your calculations. So it follows that our ripple factor is equal to the uh, ripple voltage over the DC load, which is our VDC, or it can be taken across the, the resistor as we saw, meaning to say it's gonna be uh, the same uh, the ripple voltage across the resistor over what? Over the DC voltage across the resistor also. And this can be given uh, from the formula. All this part can be given as one over uh, six square root of two omega squared LC. So remember that omega represents what? Two pi F. Wherever we see omega, it represents uh, 2 pi f, meaning to say there are so many formulas that you can actually apply. And this being simplified, it can also be given in terms of the current. You can have it from the current, which is IDC over uh, 4 square root of 3 uh, times the frequency capacitance uh, over V times VDC in that case like that. So as long you are working with an L section. That is the most important part. So on your diagram, we have seen that these two are the same. The VDC are the same. So the moment you are given your diagram, you must understand that these two are just going to be equal. These two also, the currents are going to be equal. Since we said we assume the components to be what? To be ideal. This is the most important part. That is why there's no effect there because we assume uh, the components in that case, assume the components to be what? To be ideal. Ideal meaning like there's nothing there. So that is at the end, we are seeing those voltages and currents being the same. So I want you to go through your formulas as we are going now to apply in calculations, these formulas uh, of LC filters, which are considered as L section or the chalk input uh, filters. So you might be given in terms of any of these, or you consider the connection, as you can see the part where you form an L. We're gonna talk about another part which does not form an L section like that. We are going to talk about another part. So you consider how the connection is in terms of the capacitors, how uh, is it connected? That is the most important part.